Undertale, Undertale, Delta Rune, Undertale. Under Delta, Undertale, Delta Rune, Delta Rune. Undertale, Undertale, Under Delta Rune, Tail. Delta Tail, Delta Rune. Hello, everybody. My name is Dude, and welcome back to Delta Rune. I forgot the name of the game for a brief moment. It's fine. It's totally fine. What did we? What did we get? I saw like one thing on my stats menu in a previous episode that I completely missed, and uh, I feel bad for missing it. This was where we were. What is this? There's a crack in the wall. What could be inside? It's more wall. Shit. I was gonna ask Susie to break it for me. Oh well. Let's uh, save there. Oh my god, they're all imprisoned! Can I free them? Us animals used to be alone in these cages. Now everyone's here. So many new people. We should go back to the good old days when it was just us in these filthy cages. It's tough being the fourth cage. Since I didn't want to fight you guys, I got locked up. How can I? You guys seem way nicer than the king. I'm Golden Sam. Okay. I was arrested for making a puzzle without a license. I'll never make another one such promise. Were you the one? Who made Gastafrab... I remember Gastafrab... Do you remember Gastafrab... I thought so. Are you enjoying the show? Whoa. Oh, whoa. We are the three former kings. We beg you, free us! Once all four of us ruled together, but then the night when the night arrived, everything changed. All oh, my diamonds, my jewels! You must tell me if they're all right. Oh. What you say? Your world is in danger. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? Oh, oh! I'm just the cage. No one talks to me. Hello. So that that those kings are assholes. All right then. Uh, save real quick, and away we go. Hello, elevator. Alright, the slip should take us out of here. This might take a while, so... Get comfy, everyone. Okay. Are we gonna tell stories? Hey, we're all sick. You know Lancer's dad, the king? Yes? When we meet him, you think we'll have to... Hurt him. Susie? And I hope my dog isn't loud enough to cue into the microphone. I mean, I could easily smash him, but... You guys... I don't... I know that's not really your thing. You're more about groveling like total losers. Yeah. What about it? And I was thinking, maybe I could do that too? Susie? You mean... You mean, you want to try acting? Hey, well... Excuse me, we'd be happy if you acted with us. Don't worry, we'll be there to help you. You won't have to figure it out by yourself. Sure, alright. We've turned a bully into a not-bully. I love this. Hey, Ralsei? Susie? Are you... still gonna make those cakes? Well, will you stop making fun of me? Well, if I have to, I guess. Then I'll bake you as many as you like, alright? Yeah, I like you can make that many, dude. Oh, we're done. Okay. Well, this is our stop. Hey, Chris, wait a sec. You know, I'm starting to realize it'll be easier for us to get out of here if we all, uh, get along a little more. So, next time we fight an enemy, if you tell me what to do, well, I'll listen to you. Okay. You know, don't tell me anything stupid. I'll go back to smashing heads, alright? Okay. Chris, I'm counting on you, okay? Yay! We finally have a real p new person. A real third. Elevator to prison. Formerly known as elevator to basement, which just happened to have a lot of cages. <laughs> oh. Heh. <laughs> okay, what do we got? Compliment? 
I don't think that's gonna work, but okay. I told Susie to compliment the enemy. Uh, are you serious? What can I say about someone trying to kill us? Well, Susie, if you're stuck, why not try saying something you wish someone would say to you? You're unbanned from free ham sandwich day. <laughs> really? You got banned from us from having ham sandwiches? Really? Really? You tried to explain why fighting is bad. The Rudin Ranger just became tired. Oh. This thing Ralph says pacify. Okay. I thought I'd maybe, uh. Ah, shit. I thought maybe I'd convince them or something. That didn't work. Ow. Okay, so. If they're tired, then I can pacify them. But. I need to heal, Chris. <laughs> Your outfit is not disgusting. No one ever said that to me before. Ow. Shit. Is he good yet? No, he's not. Defend. Ugh. He should heal himself. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright, I'm the diamond, here the rough. Huh? Ah, shit! We're just trying to gather TP, dude. Alright, pacify. Go. Alright. We're gooch. And there's a save point here so I can heal. Right? Right. Okay, good. Uh, let's go north. What's this? Elevator to top floor. Currently stuck at the top floor until someone rides it down. <laughs> well, shit. Alright, guess that's not happening. Uh, stairs. Rudin's room. Yes, that's a door. Is it? Hey, it's you! You're that peaceful lightener! Oh, you even tamed the beast that was tormenting us. Beast? What beast? Oh, you haven't taught the beast to talk! Here, have a Choco, Choco Diamond. Normal everyday riches acquired from a legitimate source. Well, they're fine, at least. We sold all of our beds to replace them with the treasure. My back hurts, but life has never been better. Well, uh, the riches are fine, at least. We can say that. Hello, guard. You're gonna die now. And by die, I mean, uh... We're gonna... Be nice to you. Nice! You guys look like you're gonna kill me! Yay! <laughs> glimmer glamour. Huh? Shit. Eh. Okay, we're good. Uh... Let's do another compliment, and... Yeah, we'll just... Your outfit is not disgusting. Eh. Shit. Uh, okay. I want to get as much muns as I can from this. That should do. Alright. There we go. All the muns. The mine. Uh. Oh, it was the exit. Okay, so that's where we came in from. Well, that was easy. I guess I can backtrack if I need to, but I don't need to or want to. Huh. That guard does not want to uh, chase us. Nice. Huh. Well. Okay. Where is this gonna go? That way. All right. Hello, treasure. You open the treasure chest. Inside was club sandwich. Yay! Castle bathroom royal flush currently occupied. Okay. Well, shit. I bet you anything that we're taking a shit. 
Hello? Oh. It's a trap. So the worms have decided to crawl out and play. Uh. Who's there? <laughs> Thou'st fools! I'm making fucking mac and cheese, and nobody <laughs> Okay, I saw a meme of this guy earlier, he's like, he came out of the light and said, I'm making fucking mac and cheese, and there's nothing you can do to stop me! I am rules cop, thou, thou greatest adversary. Thou may have clawed, clawed past all thou's otherest conundrums, but thou's were created by utter weaklings! Now, prepare thyself for the strongest puzzle of thou's life! Worms! God damn it! Ah. That was easy. Now what? <laughs> now what do I do? Was that it? That was it. Okay. Oh. I already went up. Okay, so that was fun. Ah, shit. Huh. Flirt? <laughs> Alrighty. You ordered Susie to flirt with the enemy. And hell no. Susie, it's okay if you don't know how. What? Shut up! That's not the problem! Are you sure? Alright, look, wise guy, I'll show you. Watch this! Ahem! <clears throat> so, uh... Come here, often. And Hathi felt awkward and left. Hey, get back here and let me flirt with you! Well, uh... Oh. Oh, shit. Ow. Oh, so it bounces back. Okay. Okay, I see. Smells like a lonely kiss. Can I flirt? Will that work? You flirted with Head Happy, it was highly effective. Yay! Ow. Okay. So if I flirt with you, you two can spare them. And then then we're good. It was highly effective. Susie spared that one, or else I spared the other. whoop de doo There we go. We're just done. What's over here? A heart? Hello? Hathi looked at you kindly. Your sins against Hathi were forgiven. Looks like Hathi sold all the gems and replaced them with beds. Looks extremely well slept. Looks like a bed. Will you rest here? No, you won't. It's not your bed. How about any of the other beds? How about any of the other beds? Shit. How about this one? You thoroughly investigated all of the beds. Your rank was upgraded to bed inspector. <laughs> Yay! I've always wanted to be a bed inspector. What does that mean? Nothing? Okay, fine. Whatevs. Eh. You see nothing? Oh, that's not a path. Okay. I thought it was a path. Eh. That was not a path, and I just gotta keep going up and up and up, I see. Alright. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so I gotta do another puzzle. Probably another similar one, I'm sure. What? Oh, I see the puzzle. What? What? Something nutted. Something nutted. Oh, hello, it's this again. Uh, first of all, giving you that. Oh, good. It didn't impale Palse. <laughs> Those guys really think I, that was all I had to Wrong! It's time you, for you to feel my real power. Behold! My ultimate puzzle! Have at you!
<laughs> Gullible worms? That wasn't this really my ultimate puzzle. I have a waste better one right here. Can can we see it? No. <laughs> I think... I think this guy sucks. Another revivement. Cool. What's in here? The fuck? Hathi's the second party member. It's the healer. She was in charge of catering the party. Unfortunately, the cake was commissioned... She commissioned was destroyed in a field somewhere. Oh. It's a treat. Parties. It's a bed for three people, or one three-headed person. Okay. The first party member. I'm in charge of the DPS. Dance and party soundtrack. Are you the tank? Well, let us take your coat and put it in the toilet. Ha! <laughs> Which we don't even have. Please try the baseballs. Yeah, eat some of the choke. They eat sports. Then we can all play Twister! Stay out of our way! We lose even by ourselves. It's a boombox. It's playing clubs music. Alright. It's a giant baseball for parties. Okay. That was interesting. Moving on. Hopefully we don't hear another, like, random nut sound. That's, uh... Not what I wanted. Shop. Hello. Welcome to my shop, you ungrateful worms. Ah, uh, what is thine interest? I am the Duke of Puzzles, rules card. My hobbies include calligraphy, law keeping, bug keeping, cages, and long walks in the dungeon. Art is now one of my admirers, worm. Uh, what are you selling? Rolls Rouge. Rules Rouge. Fragrant sauce. Ew. Uh, dainty scarf. That has to look adorable. Homemade healing up. Yes, thank you. Uh, I could get another amber card. Sure, we'll do that. Even though I'm not using items and stuff. Sure, why not? Uh, sure. I think that's it. Huh? See thou in, thy du in the dungeon, worms. Alrighty. Fluffiness up. <laughs> I'll protect everyone. Okay. At least he's got that going for, for him. Damn, it's actually cool. Yeah, I know, right? Let's get to the amber card. It's sticky, huh, Chris? It's fine. A thin score charm that sticks to you, increasing defense. It's fine. It's fine, my dude. Well, if I have to. Yeah, you do. It makes you look like a hero and stuff. Which is good, you know? What's in here? A bicycle is lovingly tucked into bed. What? It's a music player. Listen to the contents? It's full of cartoon splat noises. It's some kind of digging implement. <clears throat> it's a hole, presumably dug for fun. There's salsa buried in the ground here. It's a hole made recreationally. You found 20 rupees in the hole. Unfortunately, that's not a useful currency here. <laughs> Shit! I like the Zelda reference. Now, that was a good Zelda reference you did there. This is good. Oh, that's that's an elevator. I don't need to go there. I think... That's the down elevator. Sure. That was quick. Yeah, that's the down elevator for the, the thing. Okay. So we can go up and down here and backtrack. I guess? I suppose we can backtrack if we wish to, but I don't want to go backtracking. I could... I, I'll do it off camera, maybe, but, like, I don't want to backtrack anymore. Enough, worms. I'm making fucking mac and cheese! Thou may have cheated 
through mine puzzles, but in combat thou shalt be scattered about. Come, knaves, prepare for battle with... Whatever this is. Huh? It's the enemy from earlier. But its crown looks different. Looks the same. Yes, with my control crown, I may control any disc-shaped life form. Oh no. It looks like it's in pain. It looks the same. Yes, the control crown is painful. But I'm certain this creature will feel relief when it sees how much more pain thou will be in. Here it comes. Again. Susie's idea. What? Susie, you want to act. Aw, oh, what's your idea? Uh, well, how do I say this? I kind of need you for this one. That's fine. I'll help. I want to apologize for it. I want to apologize to it for earlier, right? Nah, I just need you to stay still. What? Chris, we gotta get that crown off its head. Help me throw Ralsei at it. What? What? Um... Can I backtrack it? Uh, the crown loosened a little. Oh... Eh. Okay. Crown is 20% loose. Alright. Um... There we go. Crown greatly loosened. There we go. I mean, it... It worked better than the bowing thing. 55% loose. Sorry, I'll say I'm gonna have to throw you. There we go. On the plus side, you're not, like, landing on it when you... in a way that kind of sucks, so maybe it'll be fine. 90% loose. There we go. Let's do the bow thing. Actually, no. Let's do this. Eh, shit. Ground loosened a little. We did it! It's no longer in pain! Except for Ralsei, but it's fine. I, I, I'm not meaning to hurt Ralsei, but, like, the... The, the ends... Justify the means in a way? I'm, I'm sure he's fine. With it. I hope. Or I'll say please don't be offended. Why brilliant! Just brilliant! I knew you couldn't do it. Thou great heroes thou. Thou seest that was merely a friendly test of thine abilities. But thou hast won. And now nothing blocks thine path. I personally could not be any less be less of an obstruction. But you- Luck be with you, heroes! Um. okay. Here I'll say, you alright? You alright, my dude? You're not- you're not offended from earlier, are you? Riches, they shine with avarice. It's a throne. It seems to have been damaged in a struggle. A power struggle, I see. Riches, they shine with avarice. Wall banners. They seem to have been through some kind of struggle. Someone got power hungry. I'm calling it now. Hello. <laughs> yeah, there's Lancer. <laughs> mm. Father! Lancer, my son? Have you dispatched the light news as I commanded? <laughs> uh, no, but I did even better. It turns out we don't even actually have to fight them. They said they could just talk to you and... They're alive? Yes, and I think you'll like them a lot. Uh, Susie, she's very purple and strong and... Where are they now? Um... Hi. Hey. It's nice to meet you. Lancer? Lancer, my son. <laughs> yes, father? Do you remember what I told you? Don't get too attached. You have failed. They have poisoned you with their sentimentality. Free yourself, Lancer. Yeah, they care not for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. They are scum. No, they aren't. What did you say? Let him go. <laughs> you want me to let him go? Then how about this? 
I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. Well, so you all kneel and learn your place. What will it be, Lightners? Don't listen to him, Susie. He'll... He'll... Now watch, Lancer. See what happens when you befriend Lightners. What the... You traitor! Come back here! Alright, enough already. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> to my people, I am a hero. To you... The fuck is that? I'm the bad guy. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell is that? Um... Hmm. Alright, fine. Well, uh... See if I can't reason with the guy. You try to reason with the king. Silence, Lightbringer. Your very existence goes against our own. By the knight's will, I shall shatter your heart to pieces. Your will is changing. Top became courage. How dare you come here, Lightners? Uh, is that all you have, dude? Really? Is this? Let's do that. As soon as he tried to reason with the king. Alright, listen up. Lancer's my friend. So if we can get by without hurting you, then... If I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. Alright, you wanna see what I can do, huh? Susie's will is changing. Top became a red buster. That's not good, is it? Whoa. What? Oh, the box is moving. Okay, ow. That's what happened. Okay. Defense boost, alright. See what I can get Ralsei to do. You might not realize it, but this is a world where you don't have to fight. I know if we try, we can all find another way. Such simple-minded platitudes. A shame you will not live to realize your naivety. Now perish with the pathetic lighteners you worship. Sorry, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. I'll say as well as changing cop came dual heal. Yes! Alright. Whoa. Eh. Shit. Okay. So I can dual heal. Or I can do other shit. Let's, uh... Defense boost. And, uh... I guess defend. I don't know. Maybe I can tire him out or something. Ah, uh, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Okay. Maybe I, maybe I do have to damage a little bit. We'll do it. We'll do some damage. Your, sh your soul shined in its power on Susie. For the night is a Huh, oh. Ha, whoa. Ha! Okay. Maybe I have to do a little bit of damage and, uh, you know, weaken him a bit. Maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe that's all I gotta do. Or maybe I gotta wait for something. I just gotta fight him a little bit, right? Is that all I gotta do? It pulls the fountain from the earth. Whoa. Oh. Ah! Oh, I see how that works. Okay. Uh. Damn it. So let's do that. Let's just defend completely. Holy fountains whose shadows are creating a new world. Our world. Whoa. Eh. Thankfully, that wasn't overwhelming. King's mouths gave a berserk smile. Ah. 
Yeah, heal everyone. And defend. Alrighty. You see our, n our now our new purpose. What purpose is that, I wonder? Ah, stop it! Ugh. Maybe that's why I was given so many revive cakes. Ugh. Do I just survive long enough to... To, like... How do I work this fight? <laughs> How do I work this fight? Mm. Uh, I don't want to kill him. But I think I have to fight a little bit. Uh... Now let's fight a little bit. As much as I don't think this is a good idea. Eh. Damn it. Eh. Okay. Uh... That and that. Alright. Uh oh. Oh boy, this is getting harder. Ow. Mm. Come on, just stop attacking me, please. Eh. Eh, hope. Uh, maybe I'm wasting too much TP, but keep fighting like this then. Wait, am I wasting his attacks? Am I wasting my TP by fighting him? Oh shit. Ralsei needs to be healed now. Um. Let's see. Heals team. Alright, cool. Just get TP going. There we go. It seems that. Seems that what? Are you finally coming to your senses and thinking, oh hey, fighting's a bad idea? Let's do that. My knight. I shall not fail you. Your knight? Who's your knight? Did, did we do it? Enough is enough. I see that I cannot defeat you. I have grown exhausted from our long battle. Yes! Just what I thought would happen. And what I was hoping would happen. More correctly, I was hoping it would happen. His his cape is butterfly nurse. I perhaps I have been too cruel. The truth is, I was not always this way. There was once a time where darkness and lighteners lived in harmony. A time where darkness could fulfill their purpose in peace. It would be a lie to say that I, too, do not yearn for those days. Perhaps... Perhaps you young ones are right. Please, let us put away our weapons. There must be a peaceful solution to all of this. Okay. Come now, Susie. Thank you! Is there a dead pixel on my screen, or is that some... What is that dot? I'm just starting to realize, Mr. King. None of us really want to fight. Can you just tell us what about your worries? I'm sure we can all be friends, right? Yes. Friends. That sounds lovely. <laughs> my apologies. I'm, I'm not used to fighting like that. My body is getting weak. I don't say another word. Heal him, maybe? Oh, good. Did it work? There, you should be all healed up. How do you feel? Let's see. Oh, right. Never better. You bastard. Did I say you could get up? Chris? 
Oh. Oh, spare me the heroics. Uh... Lancer, your dad's an asshole! <sighs> You're the leader, aren't you? So what's your plan? To laugh as you cast us all back into obscurity? You can't even say. On one, let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. What? Hey. Get away from my friend. <laughs> or what? You'll kill me? Nah. I mean, personally, I let gravity do it. So what's your plan, then? To talk me to death? You stupid, stupid lightener. You honestly think you have any way to convince me not to kill you? Nah. But they might. Oh. Lancer? Everyone? What is the meaning of this? Sorry, Dad. You're being overthrown. When I told everyone you were fighting the Lightnings, everyone remembered how kind they were. They decided they'd rather have a king that accepts them. Me. Now I'm the dad. You idiots. The Lightners are your enemies. Fools. I'll kill you. I'll kill all of you. Yikes. I think someone needs a timeout. Out of your room, dad. No! Yeah, right, Chris. Wow. Uh, that worked out. <laughs> Chris? Susie? Oh, you're all right. Yeah, it'll take more than that to take us down. Chris? Susie, I'm... I'm sorry. Because I healed the king, we almost... We almost... He probably would have done it anyway. Just like he was waiting for a chance to, like, heal up a bit before doing so, I guess. Susie, you were right. I, I was foolish to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? Eh, it's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, then you might just hurt someone you care about. Ah, Susie. You're beginning to sound like a real hero. Eh, don't get used to it. Then I... I suppose you and Chris should return home now. Yeah, I... I guess that's right, huh? Yeah, I think so. I'll, uh... See ya. Is that really it? We just gonna... Go without saying goodbye or anything, or... Hey, Chris. Wait a sec. Hey, uh... Look, I know you want to give a real goodbye to everyone, right? I mean, I'm all for leaving right away, but, you know, we could go back a sec if you wanted. Sure, why not? Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's head back. Okay. I didn't think that was an option. Yo, buddy. Chris? Susie, you came back? Well, Chris just wanted to say bye, you know? Oh, actually, everyone here wanted to say goodbye, too. Please let me know when you leave, alright? Yeah, yeah, we'll try not to skip you. I guess we might as well just talk to everybody. Way to go, kids! Now I can go back to making the puzzles we love. And thanks to your donation, I could buy a new hat and some shaving cream! I would have donated 99 more dollars, but the hole was full. Best! You're the best! Around! Honestly, we owe you. You're absolutely amazing! Great work. Okay. Thank you. And the little ball can say something like thank you. Thank you. I can go back to being a coat hanger now. By the by, I asked Sham to come here, but there wasn't any interest. Why not? Darn horsey. You've done us a big help. Now all of us, all of us pieces can live in pieces. You did it. You ousted that rotten tyrant. I'll happily accept a bounty of credit for my contributions. Unless the king reappears, in which case I did nothing. Okay, fair enough. Wonderful work, my amigos. Thou hast toppled the tyrant, freed our 
creedst. Truly, if history shall not forget the tale of Rouge Cod and the three heroes. Sure. I knew you could do it. Though I was your enemy, I was cheering for you. That's how much I dislike my job. The future looks sweet, like a pile of bees puke, which is honey, I think. A kingdom with so much hope. Hope you didn't screw it up. That means thank you. Come to our next bee day, too. We'll have one soon, if that's possible. Sounds like fun. Hathi looked at you proudly. Kiss. What's going on? I slept through everything. Oh, hello. Hi, buddy. Hi, other buddy. Mamma Biba! What a celebration! Everyone is here! This must be the birthday party I made the cake for! Clover's birth! Such a sweet occasion, I might cry! Uh, actually, this whole thing is, like, our fault. Oh, Mon Amiga! Then you're Clover's mother? Now I understand why you ate the cake! To protect her! Uh, wait, no, I... Wait, if I go along with this, will I get more cake? Maybe? Also, when did you stop being edgy and show your eyes? Susie! Blue person whose name I neglected to learn all along. I thought you were gonna go... I thought you we were going home ways. We were, but Chris wanted to say bye, you know? Oh, really? <laughs> That's funny. I thought you wanted to say bye because we're friends. And, I, I mean, I did not not want to. So you're the king now, huh? Yes? And I'm changing some big rules. First, lightness are now legal. Second, prison is now only for dads. Sounds like some pretty good changes. Your dad was, uh, protecting the fountain, right? Is it gonna be okay if we mess with it? I have no idea. But if it's you guys, so I trust you. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. Yeah, I guess we'll just see, I guess. Uh, well, see you later. Come back soon. There's always room in town for a couple of clowns. That there is. Hello. Because you rescued it, it grew to respect you. Well, actually, maybe it shrunk to respect you. Okay. I can't go around it. Oh, I can go around No, I can't go around it. That's fine. I'll be honest. At first, we weren't sure to, who to make... Who, weren't sure who make our new king. I mean, Lancer has always been a bit of a pain. But after seeing how nice he treats you guys, I think he'll be fine. Good. What ho? What about us? Are we going to be restored as kings? Huh? My treasure is unharmed. Carry on then. Show's over. Everybody go home. And how about you? What's all the fuss about? Fewer people are in cages. Us animals decided it's okay if the king stays in the kings stay in the cages as well. But they'll have to put on animal ears and noses. I like this idea. I like this idea a lot. Let's go say hi to... Say bye to Ralse, and then we're Gooch. Is there anything there? No? Okay. Ralse! Chris? Susie, are you leaving? Hell if I know. I'm just following Chris. I guess we'll just walk to the right if we are. Yeah, we we are. Can, can, we, can we say... Can we say bye to... Is that... Are you going to leave? Yeah. Um, I... I just wanted to say I... I... I really enjoyed meeting you two, and... Wait, you have white hands? Hey, can you stop mumbling in your hat for a second? I can barely hear you, dude. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. What?! What?! Goat man?! I... Goat boy! Hope I can see you again soon. Next time I'll make you lots of yummy cakes, alright? Um, yeah, sure, dude. <laughs> Let's go, Chris. He is a goat boy. I wasn't certain, but he is goat boy. Ah, uh, goat boy. Is this the... Is this really the way back? Is this... the fountain? I guess so. I don't know how, but... 
Feels like we stumbled into something really important, didn't we? Yeah. Well, there's no time to think about it, about that now. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? Yep. As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. Oh. Oh, I thought we were about to fight or something. <laughs> Are we? Oh. We're not about to fight. Okay. <sighs> I thought we were gonna die. <laughs> I thought it was a boss fight in the fountain or something. What happened? I can't see anything. Right. Hey, watch it! Oh. Uh huh? The unused classroom? How do we get here? Hey, Chris. What? What just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Anyway, as I was saying, it's just how off as we couldn't find any chalk. Um... Mother? K Chris? Whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? You were spending time with a friend? Two friends, Ak. Three friends? Three friends and a bunch of random people. I have two dollars. Chris, I'll make an exception this time. You can continue your adventures a little longer. But when you return home, you are going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Okay, well, at least they're not worried about me anymore. It's worn down stuffed animal. That wasn't actually Ralse, was it? Playing cards spill out of the deck in the closet. Oh. We didn't dream the whole thing, did we? Starting to look like a dream. Mostly. Man, the sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Guess Alfie's will know better than to ask us next time, huh? Hmm. Mayhaps. Hmm. Well, guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Should we go back to that later if we can? Chris? Let's go back there tomorrow, all right? Okay! I like that plan. Thank you for not threatening to eat my face when you did that. The door is locked. Uh oh. And all the doors are locked, except for the unused classroom, I see. Alrighty then. Uh, away we go. This one's gonna be probably one of the longer episodes while I just wander around and see what's around town. Hello, Library. Teen Zone. Got to go to college, so Tem Stubby hard. She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. Okay. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. Y you're blocking the way, dude. Chris, what's up? Caddy's working, so I'm starting our, uh, on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. Okay. Uh, there's one pixel... Right, right there. There's one pixel that won't go away. Chris, you survived Susie. I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to draw dragons is 2583 days overdue. However, Chris, I am a benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere 6423. Consider it, Chris. I will. You look through the window to the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. 
Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. Oh, it's Toby. It's Toby. Hello. Hey, punk! Get out of the road! You're blocking traffic! Oh, wait, it's just Asgore's kid. Sorry, I'm a little, uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring! Nothing ever happens in this town! I eh, wish something would shake things up. Huh? You got something to report. Uh... Alfie's? Alfie's. Who's Alfie's? No idea who you're talking about. Why, did they do something illegal? Gotcha. If I see Alfie's, I'll tackle him. <laughs> They're as good as dead. Oh god, what have I started? Okay, so it's not a direct Undertale sequel, like, alternate universe thing. I, I'm confused. I'm confused. This wasn't really introduced as, like, a... Not really, like, an alternate universe or a sequel or something. I don't know. Help you. Aw, uh, you wanna help me? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob the bank so I can suplex them. Wait, do we even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build a bank. <laughs> Alright, then. Uh... Where do I go now? What else is around? QC's Diner. Ooh, this looks like a nice place. That is a lovely hat, sir. Look at my rugged body. You must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is, I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. Nice. I I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna check out a couple places. Hello? How you doing, Sans? Hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? Great to see you again. Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially considering I've never met you before. My name's Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm new in town. What's up? Uh... What do you have? Behind me? Yeah, it's the grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. Someone ought to complain to the guy who runs it. Okay, so we've... Hey, bud. Are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know. I... Sure, I guess. Wow, you were deliberating for a while. Gee, what's wrong? Don't want to hang out with a stranger? Well, I guess I shouldn't complain. Eh, what are we going to be doing? Well, I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. This is going to be you and my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. <laughs> Fine. No response. But the distant trousel of bones. Oh. Oh, okay. Hey, dude. Yo, Chris! You survived Susie! <laughs> I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but I'd be careful. Like, one time me, Snowy, and Jockington were playing handball. She just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then, when the ball rolled over to her, she just, uh, froze solid and kicked the ball as hard as she could right into Officer Undyne's car. Then Undyne came out, smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us... Whip... Wiped us at handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. Not really, dude. Oh, hello. Oh. Chris. Chris, you're okay! I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where'd you go? Did you skip class? Well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know. You're not in trouble. Huh. Let me know if you need anything. Uh, oh. Chris, did you want to talk about something? What are you doing? Chris, even though you never got the chalk, you deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. So in return, I can let you borrow, uh, my homemade DVD collection of The Simptons. You know, the sitcom about the middle-class monster family. I've got- it's got every episode in all 28 seasons. It's the funniest, most quotable show ever. Make sure you don't watch past the second season since they just rebooted a Simpsons Turbo and they all started driving there on the motor vehicle and drive- What? I can't read that fast, dude! Stop it! Alfie, stop it! Al- Alfie's. Alfie's! You don't want to watch it? That's okay, Chris. I- Mmm. Mmm. Wait. 
He had a secret thing in the back of his house. No, he didn't. Okay. So that would mean this is a completely different universe. Completely different universe. Entrance is locked. No one's inside. Seems like all of the employees are outside in costume. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm running home now. I am running home. Wait, where's the? What's in the hospital? Hello. Oh, a show. Are you here to play the piano again? The patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. It's an obligatory hospital piano shrunk to fit in the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it? Sure. Plank? That's it? Really? Plank. Really? That's it? One of those sliding bead toys that naturally spawns inside doctor's offices. The beads march grimly along their set path. Oh, those things. I remember those. Uh, I can't go that way, I see. Which way is my house, then? I mean, I'm glad I get to wander around aimlessly around the town, but... Ooh, this! Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here. And on a school day. There must be a reason that you came here at such a time. I, Father Alvin, implore you. If you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak. Fruit juice. Chris, if you want some of our sick fruit juice, then you must come to our service. Our choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, it would be wonderful if you would sing with us. Or even participated to any extent. Instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. It's a church. I, I, I don't know if I want to. I just want the fruit juice, dude. I'm addicted to that juice. Is this... What's this? Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Muttler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Shira, a karaoke microphone for a brave singer. Shiren? Probably a different person or relative of Shiren, but... Shiren? Garrison, renowned historian, author, and teacher. Oh, they wrote that book, and were the guy who lived for way too fucking long in Undertale. Is this the way? Is this the way? Who the fuck am I? It's locked. Just as well, but where the fuck am I right now? This is gonna be another entrance to the Dark World, I'd imagine. So if it's not the Town Hall, I'm assuming I gotta go another direction, maybe just north? Straight north? And then this way? Maybe? Yeah, here we go. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to, the, if you go to bed, it will be cool when you wake. But do not eat it all this time, alright? Fair enough, Mom. Hey, pie. It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. It's still cooling. Oh, I love this. Can I take a shower? On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple-scented shampoo and a gallon-sized container of pet shampoo. Probably for Toriel. <laughs> Good enough. I'm glad they got- they, they live on the surface. Door is locked. Oh, that's Toriel's room. So wasn't Azrael supposed to be here at some point? The drawer is mostly empty except for a school cross-country shirt with a tear in it. Okay. If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventures will end. Will you go to bed? Yes. You decided to go to bed. And that, I think, is the end of the demo. Yeah, it was just the first chapter. That was a long chapter, dude. Hello? Hello? What are we doing? Don't be masturbating on screen! Oh, we're dreaming. We had a nightmare? Uh... Um... Are we okay? Oh! Ah! What 
the hell? Um... Okay! Um... Oh... Oh... So, um... Something's, uh, not right. When the light is running low, um, start to grow. I'm detecting some Kara bullshit. What the fuck, dude? There's a light inside. She just fucking ripped our heart out and, like, put it in a cage. Why? With the truth. Was there, a, was there a reason for that? Why are we suddenly a murderer? Kara, what the fuck are you doing in Deltarune? You're not supposed to be in Deltarune. No one knows who you are in Deltarune. This is a lovely song. To be continued in Chapter 2, whenever it comes out. Ah. Oh, well, this is a long episode. Holy shit. And the game closed. I'm a little disturbed at the ending. And confused. It's like, if it's not under if it's not a sequel to Undertale, why are we getting why am I getting Undertale vibes right now? I I I don't I don't think this game knows what it wants to be right now. So I'm going to stop now. There's no more to do anyway. Uh, the next part? I don't know when the hell it's going to come out. <laughs> Probably a few years. Apparently, according to Toby Fox, anyway. It should take, like, years to complete, so next chapter is up in the air. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you to Shro and Levy for supporting me on Patreon this month. And thank you to Zorito Burrito and Worldly Bird for supporting me on Twitch. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! -bye.